Hi everyone, it's Friday, whatever that means anymore. And thank you so much for joining us as we take a little bit of time out of our day to sit quietly at the feet of Jesus, to read God's word and to call upon the Holy Spirit to move in our lives. Today, we're continuing on with our exploration of John and I'm gonna be reading from John chapter four, verses one to 14. Um, so let's read along together and then we'll take some time to pray over what we've read. Now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptising more disciples than John. Although in fact it was not Jesus who baptised but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now, he had to go through Samaria, so he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, you're a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. The water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you want to break in to our everyday life. Just as Jesus broke into the life of that Samaritan woman so unexpectedly and so powerfully and you do it gently and you do it with an offer of an incredible gift, the gift of living water. Father, we, we praise you that you see each of us individually. You know what each of us needs and you want to meet those needs. All we have to do is ask. So Lord, today we pray that you would fill us afresh with your living water. Would springs of your spirit rise up within us, renew us and restore us through your Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. And Lord, if we've never experienced and drunk deeply from that well of living water, Lord, let today be that day to make that step, to sit alongside you at the well, to rest in the heat of the day in your presence and ask for you to show us how we can live a life that is fully refreshed, that we would never thirst or strive in vain again, but that our lives and everything that nourishes us and grows us would come from you. Father, I pray your blessing now on all of us who've come together to read your word and to sit alongside you today. In Jesus' name, amen.